Okay, so I, I have to admit, about five years after the end of that last video, everything fell apart into rebellions, and then Rome declared on me, and everything went terribly. And that's not very surprising, considering that I've never played this version of the game. So I, I've restarted as Carthage, and this time I managed my aggressive expansion and stability a lot better because I didn't realize it at the time, but in Imperator Rome, if you have a lot of aggressive expansion, you lose monthly stability. You know, it's interesting, it's not something I expected, so I thought I could just conquer everybody, but no, it's not a, not a good idea. This playthrough had one major issue when I was conquering some nations in North Africa. Carthage got occupied and it hasn't ever been quite the same. Almost back up to where it was, but I guess if a city gets looted, it takes a very, very long time to recover. Also, I have adopted a new interesting strategy to deal with Rome. It's called, if you can't beat them, join them. We have the amazing alliance with Rome. I don't know. I don't really want to expand into Italy. It's, I don't think it's worth it. We'll just keep expanding in Spain. They have such a giant army that we, even if we wanted to fight them now, we couldn't. We have an amazing economy though, so I guess if we saved up for a few years and bought a ton of mercenaries, we could take Italy, but I really think it would be more worth it to invade Spain. Also, Macedonia is pretty big. <laughs> oh, also Rome is a little weaker because they had a civil war for 10 years, which is a classic Roman move. It really hurt them. But yeah, right now we're expanding into Corsica. We consolidated Sardinia. I've been a lot more mindful in this campaign of culture too. I didn't realize how important it was, but in Imperator Rome, you don't have cores like in Hoi 4 or EU 4, but culture functions a lot like cores, and our friendship with the Roman Republic didn't quite last too long. They declared a show superiority war on us, which is basically declaring a war with no justification. I guess they just want to prove that they're superior, but everyone knows that's not the case. Because after all, they were the ones who defeated Syracuse in this playthrough too, so we have to defeat them to truly defeat Syracuse. I know it sounds complicated, but Rome, however, is somewhat incompetent. They failed to realize how strong our economy is. Without paying mercenaries, we make uh, 60 or so ducats a month outside of war. I'm kind of happy that Rome did this though, because it's a nice excuse to finally weaken them. I was placating them, expanding in my own lands, but they truly are the enemy that we need to focus on. And their population is not too happy everywhere, even in core parts of the empire. Like the people in Rome itself are becoming angry, especially the new Southern Germanic and Macedonian lands they took. The empire will crumble, all we have to do is wait. But my greed may get in the way, as I think we have the perfect opportunity to invade southern Italy. They have two legions with about 26,000 men here, and we have a bit more than that. So I am going to push this advantage and try to take out these legions before more reinforcements can arrive. They may bring in reinforcements and destroy us, but I'm not seeing any reinforcements, so I think this will be a good idea. They'll just encircle them and then they'll have no hope. <laughs> That's not quite the reinforcements I would think they would send. Yeah, 2000 is um, negligible. So yep, yeah, here we go. It's time for our first battle. They're doing quite well despite being extremely outnumbered, but they really don't have a chance of winning, so we don't have to worry. Okay, they're sending reinforcements, but far too late. Even those reinforcements, if they were to get here for the battle, wouldn't have changed the outcome. I really feel like this war, it's possible that we could siege the great city of Rome. If we siege the city, it'll never be the same. Just like how near the start of the game, it took 40, 50 years to recover from being sieged by 
one random tiny country will devastate every city that we touch. <laughs> I think one of our allies got military access and just w and walked through all these countries or maybe they used their own navy to land here. This is a great distraction. These 2,000 allied men are gonna cause so much chaos. We're also gathering more levies in North Africa. Once they all arrive at this port, we will ship over uh, 30 or 40,000 more men, maybe even up here maybe just to Rome itself. They're smart right now, they're not risking another engagement, but that first defeat will give us the advantage. We just need to force another battle. I, I just don't know where to fight it. That's good. Okay, we defeated them, and now these 40,000 men are locked into attacking us here. I, we won't win the siege, but this this will be another victory for us. They'll reinforce, but unless they have 20,000 men ready to join. It's it's over. And now we have the discipline advantage too because of that omen. Now we need to regain our strength. That was a very, very good battle. And these 2,000 are still distracting 12,000. This is perfect. This couldn't be going better. The only thing that could make this better is if Rome was very, very stupid and tried to land, I don't know, a few legions in Sardinia or Corsica or even North Africa. We have so much money in our treasury that we could buy a ton of mercenaries and wipe anything out they try to land. Our main goal though is we need to get to Rome as fast as we can, end this war, and we're forcing another battle. I don't know if they'll even reinforce this one, but this should be another easy victory for us. We even control this province. Okay, well, we'll reinforce in time, but that didn't go very well. They have a better navy than us. I haven't quite learned how to build navies in this game. I probably should figure that out. <laughs> yeah, that navy would defeat us, so yeah, let's not engage the Roman navy. I guess we could hire mercenary navies. Yeah, <laughs> if we hired a couple, we could probably beat them, but eh, we're not making money anymore, so that's probably not the best idea. But I love to see that there's 21,000 Romans in North Africa. That's 21,000 that aren't defending Rome. There's still an entire legion in the north distracted. So they're reinforcing their position here, but they shouldn't be able to reinforce our battle that we're going to have here because of this fort, I think. So hopefully we can finish up this battle, they'll start sieging this fort, and then we will move the mercenaries to defeat another legion, so that'll be three legions down. They've defended all of the passes here, so we will have to siege a fort before we can move to Rome. But then I don't, yeah, there's no forts in Rome, so Rome is free if we can take one of these three forts here. We'll send some mercenaries to go take this fort. We'll send our main North African levy down to defeat this legion moving south towards our position in southern Italy. Okay, we barely won the battle over this siege that was very close. They barely had as many men, but their general was better and that made quite a bit of a difference. So we're going to have to send a very small force to reinforce the siege as we have a bigger um, force that'll move behind it. They have a genius 13 martial general, which is crazy. We took the siege. Rome is now free. No fort, Nothing in the way. See, this is the same question that Hannibal had to ask. He had the option to siege Rome, but he decided to regain strength in his army. This army is lower than half strength. But what if they reinforce Rome? Uh, and they have a bigger navy, so I don't want to risk my navy scouting the shore. Okay, we're gonna do it. I, I don't think they have, they have nothing nearby. It's too late. Rome is ours. Rome will now cede Rome to us. That's a good feeling. If we want it, it is ours. <laughs> Hopefully the silly Romans learn their lesson not to mess with us anymore. I really hope that they learn that it's not okay to mess with our empire. The silly sillies of, I can't even say of Rome. They don't even have Rome. And the conquest of Roma, the metropolis of Roma has finally fallen to our troops and now it is in our hands. Yeah, it will be nice. We could take the money, but we really don't need the money. It'd kind of be pointless to take that money. It would just make the people in Rome mad. And we really need to integrate Rome because then we will become very, very powerful. It's kind of sad though that Rome declared on us because we have a cool mission tree to cause unrest in their territories and force them to release cities that will help us. But yeah. It doesn't it doesn't really matter anymore. We can now make Rome a client state. 
I guess. I, I would rather just directly own it. I think that's better. Or, hmm, we always do have this option. <laughs> and we will not be repeating Rome's mistakes. We are going to massively fortify southern Italy. It will not fall back into the hands of Rome. And we'll fortify the city of Rome itself, which I was very surprised had no fort. And trade ports is an amazing technology. I'm happy we got to one of the techs at the bottom of the tree. If we do it, we get 25% more tax in our capital, which is our most prosperous province, and more population and import routes there. We're already making a lot of money, that's only going to increase it. Well, we're making less because we've built so many forts that we have to maintain. It's still worth it. We really do need the war elephant offense <laughs> Punic tradition. That's a very, very important one. The way to grow your navy is to put your navy on hunt pirates so it automatically goes around hunting pirates and stealing the pirate ships. It's r rather effective. Also, you can make navies here with the build ships button. But why waste money on that when we can just steal the ships from pirates? And well, hello. It's been a little while, a short 50 years since last um anything notable happened at all we've been doing very fun things like placating leaders by putting them in charge of armies with no men assigned to them they're all very happy leading this legion with no manpower it's doing a great job of making everybody happy also all of our generals have been terrible until we finally got uh, one legendary military commander she's already getting old and we haven't fought a single war that we needed to raise a legion for. I am, though, impressed with how hardy Rome has been. I thought they would fall apart after we defeated them 50 odd so years ago, but n no. They're still around. They're not as strong as they used to be, but they still have won two more wars against Macedonia. They've been very small Pyrrhic victories, but still victories. And Albania is very, very strong. What we probably should do though, and what I should have spent more time doing, is attacking these neighboring major powers and forcing them to release a whole bunch of nations. Therefore, we don't get aggressive expansion, but we are weakening them. That's what I need to do more of. I think Egypt, I started the mission tree to take out Egypt, so we should maybe invade over there. But now here it is, our time to finish them off. Once and for all, we'll take their land in Iberia, we'll take their holdings in Greece, possibly, then we will leave them as the ancient Yugoslavia that they were always um, meant to be. And this should do it. This time, I doubt they'll be able to recover. We've taken uh, all of Iberia and southern Italy and released a ton of random states inside of them to split their empire up into a million pieces and their stability and uh, population happiness is very low. I doubt they'll be able to make it for much longer, but I'll probably say that and they'll be invading Macedon again in five years. Luckily though, we have reached number one on the scoreboard finally, so now I can feel like I'm better than Paradox AI once again. We don't quite have the most population, but our military tech is higher than anyone else in the world, which may mean we've invested too much into military attack and there are still places to go we still need to do the same thing we did to Rome to Macedon and Egypt we still need to take over Britain but yes that is all for today and I will see you all next time